Good afternoon Basic Beer Geeks, it's Basic Beer Reviews here and we're going to be doing another one today. You have a look a little bit uh, breath faced and uh, a bit sweaty. I'm, in, I'm out in the garden at the moment, well not at the moment, I'm not out in the garden obviously. Um, but I've been out in the garden, I've just nipped in to the studio to review this black and white movie by Rivington that I just got today. Very excited to try. Black and white movie, not seen it before. Loving the Rivington Pales at the moment. It's a hazy pale ale. Hopped with Kohatu, never heard of that hop, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, Halatau Callista and Amarillo Cryo. Wow, so there's only one of them hops I've actually heard of, so I'll be interested to see what this tastes like. It's got barley, wheat, oat, hops, yeast. It's 5.4% ABV and it's in a trademark 500ml can which you get from Rivington Brewery, so you always get a little bit extra for your money from Rivington, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, black and white movie, I'm loving the label, that label's going on my wall, definitely. Black and white movie, let's crack it open, see what it is telling us. So there we go, so we cracked it open. It's a beautiful day, so I'm not going to be spending too long on this beer review because I want to get out there in the sun, in the back garden. Um, let's give it a pour. So, very pale pour there. Very pale yellow looking at it. It's uh, getting nice and cloudy. That's what we like to see. Oh, it's filling most of my pint glass because it's 500 mil. Oh, tell you what, let's just leave it there. It's a little bit left to go in, but we'll uh, we'll pop that in in a bit. So here we go. This is what we've got. So trademark dirty glass. Give it a tap. There we go. So there you go, that's what it's looking like. So if you can't tell, you probably can't tell because uh, it's not easy to see with my rubbish camera equipment, but it's a very light, it's a very light yellow. It's hazy, it's a sandy color. And I wanna give it a smell really because it's not telling me a lot from the, thing. it doesn't look, it doesn't look particularly thick, but again, you can't really tell a lot from, this, from the look of it. Let's have a smell. Oh, so already I'm getting quite spicy, quite a spicy smell there. I don't really know what any of these hops taste like, so... I'm not quite sure what to expect there. But it's not giving a lot away, really. It's a little bit soapy. It's a little bit creamy, a little bit oaty. As I say, a little bit spicy. Got a little bit spicy, like nutmeg. And a bit of cinnamon in there, which is a bit bizarre, really. Maybe it's just my, my sense of smell. It's a bit out, a bit out there. Don't know, I get all kinds of weird smells sometimes. A little bit of aniseed. It's weird. I'm, I mean, I'm getting this kind of like almost smells like gingerbread kind of... Almost like baking smells, which is bizarre. Hmm, strange. Lemon. I'm getting lemon now. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of lemon really. I think that was having trouble getting around that really. But yeah, there's a lot of lemon, like the lemon you have in your pancakes. That kind of lemon, almost like the sugar and lemon that people have on the pancakes. Interesting, quite citrusy actually. Now, now that it's opened up a little bit, let's uh, let's go in for a bit of a taste. Mmm. Now that is not what I was expecting that. That's almost getting some kind of Belgian yeast flavours in there. It's almost like a Belgian ale. Yeah, so it's quite citrusy. Again, I'm getting them spices. I'm getting them kind of baking spices in there. So it is quite spicy. It's not the biggest mouthfeel in the world. I won't lie. It tastes more like a session pail. If this was a session pail, I would love it. I would drink it all day long. Once again, I'd expect a little bit more of a mouthfeel for a 5.4. But at the end of the day, let's whack the rest in and see whether there's a bit more flavour at the bottom there. There we go. So in we go with it. rest of it. Let's see if that makes it taste any different. It's certainly pleasant. Yeah, so it's it's fairly dry. It's uh, 
kind of medium carbonation. It's got a relatively thin mouth mouthfeel, I'd say. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, like, you know, on a really hot day, it's certainly crushable. You could drink several cans of this and it would just go down a treat, really. It's not too gassy, it's not too fizzy. It's, it's certainly very pleasant. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's not giving a lot away in the flavour. I wouldn't say it's got buckets of hops in it. Or well, certainly not hops that I'd recognise. It's not got much of a dankness to it. It's just... It's kind of pretty standard. It's a little bit thin. It's a little bit light. Um, I'd say the flavours that are there, there is a little bit of... I'd say it's mainly kind of citrusy. Bit of orange, bit of lemon, bit of orange peel. Um, bit of, you know... I'd say these sort of spices that I'm getting from it. You know, it's a little bit of creaminess, but not much. It's um, it's okay. Um, I've had much better from Rivington. Um, but as I say, you know, there's, there's loads of stuff that they do, really. At Rivington, they've got some absolute corkers um, out there. This one, I don't know. It's certainly this can. Maybe it's better straight from the brewery. Maybe it's, it'll be better on tap. I know that because I've not had one beer on tap yet. The Rivington Brewery that I've not liked. It's, they're absolutely amazing on tap. Um, but this one... A little bit thin, not quite as good as some of the others I've had, but let's give it a rating. I say it's basic beer reviews, I'll say what I think, and for a rating, it is a bit thin, it's too thin for an A. I'm going to give this one a B. So there you go. This one I'd say was a B. Um, it was a lower, it was lower ABV, and it was supposed to be like a session pale, it might go a little bit higher, but considering it's it's not really supposed to be a session pale, it's a hazy pale. I'd expect a little bit more from the mouthfeel. Um, so yeah, beyond the quality. Um, value. I think I got this one for around about a fiver. It was roughly the five pound mark, a bit less I think. So at that kind of price, again, you can get much better for that kind of price, to be honest. Um, so I think for value, I'm going to give this one, I'll give this this one a C for value. So C for value, I'd say certain, even from Rivington, you can get much better value beers than this. You get the Never Known Fog Like It, that is an absolute, that's just a solid banger at a similar price. Um, you've got things like, you've got beers like No Day For A Do, if you can still get that, which is an absolute corker. If I can get hold of that again, I'll give that one a review, that's one of my favourites. Um, and there's just, there's, there's other ones which are also really good, like that. Um, this one, it's okay. Um, it's pretty good, but... I say Rivington have got better ones than this out there, but doesn't mean don't give it a try. So there you go. Anyway, I'm going back out in the garden. I'm going to enjoy this one out in the sun. So till the next one, have a good one.